हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑब्जर्वेशन स्किल्स ऑब्जर्वेशन स्किल रेफर्स टू दी कैपेसिटी टू परसीव टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड टू रिकॉल योर एनवायरनमेंट बाय यूजिंग ऑल योर फाइव सेंसेस इट विल हेल्प यू टू बी इन द प्रेजेंट इट विल हेल्प यू टू बी अवेयर ऑफ योर सराउंडिंग इट विल हेल्प यू टू बी माइंडफुल Uh, I'll be sharing a few tips today how to improve your observational skills. Uh, try looking for certain specific things. Take few moments of uh, each day to stop what you're doing and attempt to notice as many details as possible in your surrounding. If, for example, you're sitting at home, give yourself a task saying that uh, search for things that are red in color, and uh, you will surprise yourself by. Uh, uh keenly observing that you know there are certain things that you have never observed so closely even though you are staying in that house for a very very long time uh we we have two ears one mouth so we can listen twice as much as we speak growing up we might have heard this quote from our elders maybe our parents our teachers mostly when they wanted us to be uh, quiet and they wanted us to pay attention and uh, to listen to what they are saying why because listening is also one of the most important observation skill that we are taught very early in our uh, school life improving our observation skill will allow us to listen with more than just our ears and that will help us to make uh, better decisions uh, when you are uh, uh, walking around have you ever noticed that we generally do not tend to uh, observe how the sky looks or generally how the top of the chimney looks or rather how does the roof look because we are more uh, interested in looking at things which are down which are uh, just at our eye level which are probably we are walking on the pavement we are looking at the pavement we are looking at the shoes we are looking at things around us but have we tried gazing a little higher and observing we never do that we are not uh, uh, observant enough to be aware of our surrounding try doing that observation is what is our perception with our senses perception is taking into account what we observe and we organize it by giving it a meaning our perception could be different from others our perception is determined by our past experiences our cultures our value our belief because each one thinks differently each one understands differently that is why whenever there is a, a crime scene multiple eye witnesses are taken into consideration because each one's description will be according to that person's perception and uh, although we may see things uh, same but the way we filter it the way we focus it way we perceive it is different so that is the reason people are not difficult people are just different depend up uh, depending upon the limits of our brain people have uh, remarkable ability to focus as well and there are chances when we are observing we are more keen and we are focusing a lot uh, i would suggest that um, keep a diary keep a journal and uh, try writing in it what you have observed on a daily basis that will really help you to uh, for you to realize that what you have been noticing in the whole day uh, be mindful about the activities when someone is talking to you observe the body language of the person because i truly believe that uh, when a person is talking whatever the person is saying is a very thoughtful process the, the thoughts come in the mind we are thinking and then we are speaking but at the same time if you observe the body language of the person you will get to learn a lot of uh, things uh, without even the person telling you so i generally feel body language is something which is a form of non verbal communication and almost 75% of a person's uh, um, behavior we come to know your uh, while we are interacting with the person through the body language itself i being a body language expert i generally observe people very very closely and when you're talking to someone uh, make sure that uh, you are uh, taking into consideration how you are presenting your body language as well i generally uh, tell my children to play board games it helps to remain focused and uh, these days people are more addicted to the mobile devices and the mobile games i generally tell them play um, odd man out game so choosing the odd one out in that uh, particular game it will help you to look for things which is not very clearly visible in the first uh, uh, attempt so it will help you to look deeper and how does it help you later on it helps you to think out of the box 
Nothing has uh, such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all that comes under your observation in your life. To acquire knowledge, one must study, but to acquire wisdom, one must observe. So please observe. It is the close observation of little things which is the secret of success in any field of life. So thank you very much.